Hi everyone, it's Thursday evening, October 2nd. My name is Doris, and this is the Knit and Pearl Podcast, episode 21. Title's gonna be, We're All Grown Up. As in, the podcast is legal and illegal adult now. Anyway, just thought it was funny. Uh, you can find the show notes for this podcast on Knit and Pearl, P E A R L. Dash Doris dot blogspot dot com. In social media, I am One Fine Cow on Ravelry and Twitter. I am One Fine Design on Etsy and Facebook. And I am Doris M. Smith on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> this podcast group also has this podcast group. <laughs> Well, this podcast also has a Ravelry group, which is the Knit and Pearl podcast group. Um, this week, we have 39 members, two new members, and uh, one of them, I think, is a drop back in. PJs, who is Patricia from Pungent Sound, Washington, and Yarn Yanker, Yacker, Yarn Yacker, who is Janie from... New Brunswick, Canada. Thank you guys so much for joining the group. And in YouTube, we have 91 subscribers this week, up two from last week. And um, I had got a lot of really nice feedback last week, and I, it was so much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, so if you're new, this is your first time seeing this podcast, thank you for coming. I'm glad you discovered me, and I hope that you um, find something that is um, enjoyable and that you would, you know, subscribe to the channel and join the Ravelry group and, you know, all of that. Um, those of you who are returning, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate your support and your kindness. Um, in the podcast group, we have a September-October Shaw Knit Along going on right now from September and October. I said that at the beginning. The rules for this is that you must be a member of the group to qualify for prizes. Um, you can knit any shawl pattern. Um, has to be started on or after September 1st. You are allowed two entries per person and there is no chatter on the contest thread and there is a chatter thread available so that you can share your projects uh, or and encourage each other. The knit along will end October 31st and the prize for this knit along is a six dollar or less Ravelry pattern. The last but not least, enjoy yourself and happy knitting. Um, we have four entries as of today. Very beautiful shawls. Thank you, ladies. <clears throat> so that's all of the administration, as they say. So we will go into stash enhancement and story of the week, which kind of go together. Saturday, <clears throat> I went to the... I was, I was able to go to the, the Strange Folk Festival in O'Fallon, Illinois. It was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I got to go Saturday. So nice. I got to meet um, Sarah from Yarn Geek Fibers and the ladies from um, the Tangerine Designs. And just, it was a beautiful day to be out, and there was so many booths full of crafty people. It was so awesome. So nice. But anyway, let's get to the stash enhancement. From the <clears throat> from the f um, sorry, I'm always notoriously leaning. Sorry. Okay. From the Sarah from the Yarn Geek Fibers I got two bundles of fiber. It was so nice to meet Sarah. Didn't get to talk much. 
she was um, spinning some silk and talking to the people who were coming up, asking questions. Very nice, very nice. So first I got this Polworth. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of autumn -y colors. It's purpley, orange, beige. It's Polworth, four ounces, and the colorway is Endangered Species. Again, nice, nice product. Can't even see it because of the light. Endangered species. Isn't that just pretty? Yes, it is. And I'm kind of a pink girl, pinky purpley girl, and I couldn't pass this up. This is Blue Face Lester in the color way this is pretty it's like a really light lilac color with you know a kind of tonal and the colorway is toe shoes this is like a also a four ounce braid of fiber very nice very nice very nice I had a really hard time picking what I wanted to get there was a lot of beautiful things. Yarn, fiber, stitch markers. Very, very nice. So that was the fiber I got. And, um, okay, so when I was, um, when I found out about the um, Strange Folk Festival, and that Sarah from Yarn Geek Fibers was going to be there. I also saw Tangerine Designs was going to be there. Now, I thought the first time that I knew about them was I heard um, about one of their bags on the Knit Girls podcast. So... When I saw, this is just kind of a funny story. Um, when I saw that they were gonna be there, I was like, I want one of their bags. So I got one of their bags. And it's cows. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's very nice. They, it, it's on the smaller side. And it's got like polka dots in the black and white polka dots. So, so, so cute. The ring for the tank. This got their app. Mm, that one doesn't have it. This got their little tangerine, tangerine designs. Tangerinedesign.com. And I got one of these doohickeys. Because I have some double point needles that I don't know the size on. So. Very cute. They designed, they designed this. So I went to their booth, met them, told them they were going to be on my podcast. So I went to their website, found out they had a, their store is an Etsy store. So I clicked on that and realized, number one, that I had already, that I already followed them. I forgot. And number two, that we're neighbors. The lady that has the shop, Casey, is from Florissant, Missouri. I work in Florissant, Missouri. How crazy is that? I was flabbergasted. Well, number one, that I follow them on Etsy. And I never really, I guess I never looked, clicked on the shop. And then when I clicked on the shop to look at more bags, they were on vacation because they were at the Strange Folk Festival. So anyway, that, I thought that was a funny story. They, they, they live, their shop is based out of Florissant, Missouri. I work in Florissant. Live in St. Charles, very close. We're neighbors, like I said. 
beautiful bag. Let me tell you about the bag. It's so soft and nice. It's comfortable. Um, they, I said, oh, I kind of wanted a large one because my freesia is outgrowing my bag, but they had a worsted skein in this, but this will probably be a sock project bag. It has a ribbon and then this little doohickey that tightens down. And of course they've got this hook that you can hook it on your either hooks, you know, put your um, stitch markers on or you can use it and hook it on your belt and you know, knit as you go. Nice bag. Nice lovely people. But I didn't know that they were my neighbors. So crazy. So crazy. So it's just a small world. So anyway, that is... Well, no it's not. Because I was in Illinois and I really like this soda called Ski. Diet Ski. So they don't sell it in Missouri or they sell it in very few places and when I find it, it's not the diet. So when I was in Illinois, I drove to Fairview Heights Walmart so I could pick up a few 12 packs of Diet Ski and while I was there, <laughs> wait a minute, I, I have some Walmart acquisitions too. I told you I can't go to Walmart without going by the, the yarn. And uh, so I'm working on a um, uh, something I haven't showed you yet, which is uh, with this Super Saver. It's uh, the, the pink camo. I'm making a scarf for my niece. Well, I started one and I needed more, so. But I haven't been acting like work on it, so you won't see it this week. And then when I saw this yarn, I thought of <laughs> Crochet Knit Emily. I remember her last podcast, she says she gets distracted by sparkly new things. And I thought of her when I picked, when I saw this and I had to have it. Sparkly, sparkly new things. It's just a, the, the Red Heart Sachet. Uh, Red Heart Boutique Sachet the, for the Ruffle Scarf. It's black with different colors, sparklies. And oh, I was immediately distracted. And this will soon be, and soon be, I hope will soon be a Ruffle Scarf. I thought it was so pretty, sparkly, and I thought of Emily. <laughs> And I was distracted by the sparkly stuff. So, uh, no finished objects this week. Let me pick this up. I'm back. No finished objects. Um, my works in progress are the same as last week. I'm going to show you them because... I was able to get some progress. Up first in my number one Joanne Springs Knit Spin Farm bag. Remember what's in it? The Hitchhiker. The Hitchhiker by, which is a bot pattern on Ravelry by Martina Bem. I'm knitting it uh, with Barocco, Barocco sock yarn, 75% superwashed wool and 25% nylon in the colorway, 1463, the lot is 11, 8, 1199, the lot number. Just in case you might be liking the fabric and wanting. So that's as much, that's how much progress from last week. 
getting into the long rows. I think I have 22 teeth. I really, really, really like the fabric. It's a lot more drapey than the others, the other um, yarn I was making this, uh, my first hitchhiker from. So I still don't think it'll be as big as I want. I probably will. It might get a little bit bigger blocked out, but I like it. I, it's, I think it's very pretty. Very pretty. I did get a good amount of progress. Considering I only get to knit at night, you know. And, you know, at the, on the weekend I was, like, went to the festival on Saturday and then had to do the chores and stuff on Sunday. So, that is that. I think the hitchhiker got the most work. My freesia, freesia, that's how I, what I'm calling it, is also a bot pattern on Ravelry. This is what I'm knitting for the knit along. It is a bot pattern on Ravelry, Ravelry, why do I have a hard time saying that? By Annie Baker of Jumper Cable Knits. And I am knitting it on US 6 4 millimeter squares, 40 inch circular. Knitting it with perfection by Kramer Yarn, the colorway is Sky. And it is 30% domestic merino, 70% acrylic. And it kind of has a heathered look so move this stuff out of the way so I can bring up my it's starting to look like a shawl and got that much progress on it this week like I said it's starting to become and look like a shawl Still got about eight more pattern repeats. And if it isn't big enough for me, I'll probably go a few more pattern repeats. Yarn allowing. Did I say eight more pattern repeats to go? Yeah, then I'll see how the sizing is and decide from there whether I repeat or not. Because I want this to be a regular granny shawl, okay? I want, I, I like the granny shawls. I like them to cover me and keep me warm. Just kind of let you see that patterning again. This is really a beautiful shawl. I really, I'm in, I, when I was working on it last night, I'm like, I really am enjoying this knit. I mean, I'm enjoying the process, the, the, the process. And hopefully we'll enjoy the product. Um, the yarn is not the best. I like the needles, the, the squares. This is my first pair. I really like them, of course, but after a while, when you're knitting and holding them, your fingers do get kind of sore from the edges. But, like I said, I'm enjoying the process. I was knitting last night, watching a few podcasts, and just, I was, in, I was enjoying it. So, the other thing I've been actively working on this week is my shark design. Getting ready to um, change up the patterning a little bit. Um, I don't know that I picked the best. See what I mean when I'm saying? This is also a Joanne Springs bag from Knit Spin Farms. Love it, love it, love it. This is my bag number two from them, from her. So, um, I don't think I picked a good color. I'm not I'm trying not to show you, show you that. I don't think I picked a good yarn color for this, but I really wanted to knit with this yarn. So, uh, some of the patterning, it doesn't show up. 
but I think it'll be okay. Really excited about this. I've already got the first part of the pattern in pages typed up my, the rough draft. So, kind of excited. Um, this is the first time I've actually, I mean, I, last um, winter when um, Sophia, the granddaughter, was just starting to begin to crawl, the daughter-in-law asked if I could um, design some leg warmers to keep her um, clothes and tights and stuff clean while she cr learned to crawl around. And I thought, oh, it would be so cool to come up with a a nice pattern with built-in reinforcement at the knee so that her crawling, you know, she would have a little support. And I did... Um, I knitted some, but I wasn't really comfortable with the the way they turned out with the reinforcement at the knee, so I just never did go forward with that. So, but this one, I'm going to strive to complete the design and put it out there. So, that's what I've been doing this week, and in spinning... Um, I am still working on my Clon Forest Roving for the four ounces I got from Knit Spin Farms. I'm enjoying it. I didn't take it off the the spinning wheel this time because I just started the other I started another bobbin. Uh because I don't have a scale to weigh the material, so I figure let me start another bobbin. You know, see how far I get if I get the same amount on the other bobbin. And I can go back and forth and try to get it even. That's what I did with the last thing that I finished spinning. And hopefully um, I get a scale soon that I can use. and So that I won't... I, I want to be even in my spinning. I showed you last time that I only got a little bit of extra from the, the other thing I spun. That was a victory, so that's what I want to do with this. Anyway, I'm enough blathering. So, wow. The next thing is Pinterest. Pinterest finds. Um, am I going really fast? Because it's short this time. But... Okay, so Pinterest this week, I decided to go with... Um, things that caught my eye, a little um, group, a group of quotes, and uh, the um, links or whatever are in the show notes, but I really, these, these things kind of had meaning for me, so I'm going to share them with you. So the first one is, don't give up what you want most for what you want now. Don't give up what you want most for what you want now. Okay, the next one. <laughs> yeah. Stop worrying about things you can't control. Bad habit. I have a bad habit of doing that. So, okay, come on now. Number four is a quote from C.S. Lewis. Humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. And last but not least, sometimes you will never know the true value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Do 
These are just some things that um, kind of caught my eye this week while I was going through Pinterest and I thought I would share them with you. Now, stumbling is just this little thing that I thought was so cool and I wanted to share it with you. Um, it, it is from um, Craftster website, Knit Fast Die Warm. <laughs> That's the, it's from this website, Craftster. And it's just a really cool crocheted sculpture. And it's from, uh, by, M M what was that? Meek's Sandy Girl. Meek's Sandy Girl. And it's a pumpkin house. Just in time for Halloween. That was so cool. It's five inches tall, 13 inches long, and nine inches wide. She made the sculpture. Is that cool or what? So cool. Okay, let me bring it back down so I can get up another picture of it. Here is like a, a view from the top. I just want to show you the pictures. That's why it's taken These are just other views of it. Because I just think it is so cool. One more group of pictures. It's a close up of a little bird board, bird bath and the little bird. So cute. Um, let me try to go back to not home. No, that's not home. Hang on, bear with me. Okay, this, uh, this lady who made this said, I haven't made a sculpture like this in quite, a, in quite some time and I got inspired the other day and decided to make it so. She said, I wanted a fantasy Cinderella type pumpkin. Maybe one day I'll actually make a Cinderella pumpkin carriage. My daughter's been watching this movie a lot lately, can you tell? Um, and then it's, it's made from recycled yarn and it's, okay, then it said, I told you it stands five inches tall, 13 inches long and nine inches wide. And here's just another So incredibly awesome. Okay. So that is all of the sections, which means we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming back every week, those of you who do, and if you this is the first time watching. Um, I hope you come back. You can go down to the bottom down there and hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and leave me a comment telling me what you think. Always, you know, feedback is always welcome because 
you know, we're out here talking every week, showing off our stuff, and um, do, am I just talking to the camera or what? That's kind of like how I feel. But, you know, like I said, last week I got some really nice feedback. It was awesome. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next week. Bye.